classic British gun rods. Usually are two piece, especially shotgun rods. Let's see if I can get a hold of this. You can see where this is two pieces. And obviously it starts with just brass on each side. This piece would be like this. This intersecting piece would be there. You can tell that the brass actually goes into the rod in a solid piece before this actually the thread starts. So just nothing but little classic British rods. But then you got to make the actual rod. So a friend of mine from Friendship said, can you make me a copy of an original like yours? So we start with a piece of ebony. And basically, if you're looking at my lathe, which is a metal lathe, and I've turned into a, basically a dowling head. So I have different of these that I've had for 20 some years. And this one happens to be around 400 thousandths. And the one in the machine happens to be about 9 sixteenths. So I usually set everything up and have to use my milling attachment on my vise, on my mill to feed and basically line up the center of the, so you can see I've started the rod already in there slightly if I can get that out of the way so you can see the rods already at diameter starting and it'll just feed all the way through the tailstock and come out the other side so if I get it close I can probably turn it on turn the feed on and it's just gonna sit there and it'll run the entire length I got the power feed on just like I was threading on a lathe is just gonna, as long as the blade is sharp, it'll sit here and just see that rod out. Nothing new. I have a Stanley number 77 head. Kind of does the same thing. So, you can kind of see from how they're done. I don't know how they did them 150 years ago. 